Sambarkar, Assistant Professor in Computer Science and Engineering Department at Walton Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today we are going to discuss a topic on private cloud example that is an eucalyptus. The learning outcome of this particular topics are at the end of this session the students will be able to explain the software architecture of eucalyptus also students will be able to identify the different components of eucalyptus now first we will see the introduction of eucalyptus uh, so eucalyptus uh, it is a paid and open source computer software for building amazon web services that is in aws compatible private uh, as well as hybrid cloud computing environments originally developed by the company eucalyptus systems so eucalyptus enables pooling compute storage network resources that can be dynamically scale up or down as application workloads change the acronyms for this particular eucalyptus is elastic utility computing architecture for linking your programs to useful systems now we will discuss the history of eucalyptus martin mccoz was the ceo of eucalyptus uh, then in september 2014 eucalyptus was acquired uh, by howlett packard and then maintained by dxc technologies then after dxc stopped developing the product in late 2017 appscale systems forked the code and started supporting eucalyptus customers <coughs> now first we will see the different features of an eucalyptus it supports both linux as well as windows virtual machines it application program interface that is an api uh, compatible with the amazon ec2 platform it is compatible with amazon web services that is an aws and simple storage service that is an s3 it works with multiple hypervisors including vmware zen and kvm uh, it can be installed and deployed from source code or deb and rpm packages the internal processes communication are secured through soap and ws security multiple clusters can be virtualized as a single cloud administrative features such as user and group management and reports so these are the few features of an eucalyptus now we will see the uh, goals of eucalyptus uh, it is in f first foster greater understanding and uptake of cloud computing means it provides a vehicle for extending what is known about the utility model of computing the second one is an experimentation vehicle prior to buying commercial services that means provide development debugging tech review platform for public clouds then third homogenize local it environment with an public clouds which means uh, amazon web services that is an aws functionality Uh, locally makes moving using amazon web services easier cheaper and more sustainable then uh, it provide a basic software development platform for the open source community that is an example the linux experience it is not designed as a replacement technology for aws or any other public cloud services so these are the goals this is an architecture diagram of eucalyptus here uh, we will see the different components like a ui api cloud cluster its node the details we will see in the next slide so here are the list of components such as cloud controller which is we can uh, say clc then walrus cluster controller that is an cc storage controller that is an sc node controller that is an nc and one more is an vmware broker so these are the list of components now we will see the details of this particular components one by one first one is an cloud controller 
Uh, it offers uh, EC2 compatible interfaces as well as a web interface to the outside world. In addition to handling incoming requests, the CLC acts as the administrative interface for cloud management and performs high level resource scheduling, system accounting, etc. So, only one CLC can exist per cloud and it handles authentication, accounting, reporting, and quota management. <coughs> then, second one is Envolrus. It is the Eucalyptus equivalent to AWS Simple Storage Service, which means Walrus offers persistent storage to all of the virtual machines in the Eucalyptus cloud and can be used as a simple HTTP put get storage as a service solution. So there are no data type restrictions of for Walrus and it can uh, contain images and only one walrus can exist per cloud. Cluster controller, uh, it is uh, acts as the front end for a cl cluster within an eucalyptus cloud and communicates with the storage controller and node controller. It manages instance execution and service level agreement that is an SLAs per cluster. Storage controller, it communicates with the cluster controller and node controller and manages eucalyptus block volumes snapshots for the instances within its specific cluster now we will see the vmware broker it is an optional component that provides an aws compatible interface for vmware environments and physically runs on the cluster controller the VMware broker uh, mediates interaction between the cluster controller and VMware and can connect directly to either EXS host or V center servers. Then the one more node controller. Uh, it hosts the virtual machine instances and manages the virtual network endpoints. Then it uh, downloads and caches images from the Walrus as well as creates and caches in instances. So this is all about the components of the eucalyptus. Now we will see the eucalyptus compatibility with AWS that is means Amazon Web Services. First introduction, uh, organizations can use or reuse AWS compatible tools, images and scripts to manage their own on premises infrastructure as a service environment. The AWS API is implemented on top of Eucalyptus. So tools in the cloud ecosystem that can communicate with AWS can use the same API with Eucalyptus. Uh, in March 2012, Amazon Web Services and Eucalyptus announced a details of the compatibility between AWS and Eucalyptus. As a part of this agreement, AWS will support Eucalyptus as they continue to extend compatibility with AWS APIs and customer use cases. Customers can run applications in their existing data centers that are Compatible with Amazon Web Services such as Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2, Amazon Simple Storage Service S3, Amazon Web Service Compatible Tools such as Auto Scaling, Elastic Load Balancing, CloudWatch, etc. Now pause the video and write it down your answer. State the different functionalities of Eucalyptus. Here are the list of functionalities of the eucalyptus such as uh, first one is an user console, service components, build a library of EMIs, user identity managements are there, it supports storage area network devices, it offers new features for AWS compatibility, also it uh, new maintenance mode are available. So these are the few functionalities of the eucalyptus which we have discussed. 
Now few points uh, we want to discuss regarding eucalyptus such as eucalyptus can be used to set up your own private cloud. Eucalyptus is an alternative for those who want to work with cloud computing. Then it has the advantage of being an open source system, have compatibility with consolidated architectures and use technologies with broad adoptions such as Linux Zen. So these are the few references which I have referred for this particular topic. Thank you one and all. Thank you.